Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and this is my stadium guide. So somebody asked in the uh, Twitch chat about about stadiums and stuff and I thought it was a good idea to make a guide on it because they are a unique feature on Blood Bowl 2. So the first thing I'd say, I mean, I'm using a custom team to, to demonstrate this, but the first thing I'd say is keep your bank, the, the bank rule means that any money over 150k adds to your team value, so keep that at 150k or less. There are some exceptions in leagues and stuff where maybe you don't want to do that, but for the most part, um, you know, in matchmaking, champs ladder, open ladder, keep it at 150k max. So normally if you would go up to say 190k, buy four assistant coaches, sack them all, something like this. Um, but what what could what eventually will happen is maybe you'll get a concede or you'll just get 90k winnings or something and you'll go to about 200k and you'll think oh well I'll upgrade the stadium so first of all you've got to upgrade it to be able to use the enhancement so the upgrade costs 100k so you know usually you want it's it's not urgent you know they're, they're nice little bonuses but I wouldn't I probably would never get them if uh, if there wasn't the bank rule in place so. You get that, and then let's have a look at the enhancements that there are. Oh, first of all, the sponsors don't matter. They have no effect. You can you can change any of these. They have no effect in-game. Cheerleaders have no effect other than the graphics. Um, so the enhancements. So let's just take a look at them one by one. So the magicians shop during the inducements phase. Both teams receive a wizard at no cost. I don't like it because it means you take more attrition. The more that I've played this game, um, the more I've thought about the stadiums and thinking I just don't want anything that adds attrition. I want things that reduce attrition because I don't care if it reduces my opponent's attrition. I just want it to reduce my attrition. Um, this does, obviously, if you've got a high TV Wood Elf team, you're going to benefit much more from the Wizard or Skaven. You're going to benefit much more from the Wizard that, that, than your opponent is. However, you are going to give them an extra 150k inducement money to get a bribe to screw you over more or a star player that may that may kill all your players or something so any, any high tv team i can see the point of getting this but the fact that you'll just be giving an extra 150k for, for free effectively to your opponent i don't really like it maybe high tv necro could you know necro can do quite well with a wizard but and don't fear the dirty player too much but still i uh, i would hardly ever ever take the magician's cup shop security gate is one that i my go-to is the security gate basically all bash teams take this right and pitch invasion kickoffs are cancelled so obviously the what you're trying to do with the bash team is a 2-1 grind usually if you score on turn eight and the riot gives a gives an elf team two turns to score you don't really don't like it pitch invasion um as a bash team pretty much always just bad for you and never really good for you if 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 a if a pitch invasion collapses your opponent's line like offensive line and you're on defense and you get a pitch invasion you don't really get to capitalize that much as a bash team as you know so and if i was an agility team like elves escape and what have you this isn't so appealing because oftentimes you'll need a riot because you just won't be able to get the ball off your opponent and also you can stop your opponent's scoring in two turns more easily with an elf team and pitch invasion, obviously, elf teams can capitalize unbelievably well, um, but in both directions. So I think that that's the thing. The security game, basically, bash teams only, but very, very, uh, very desirable. I almost always take this on my bash teams. Beer stand is the one that stands out for you. If you're new to Blood Bowl 2, if you've come from Fumble or something, plus one on injury rolls when a player is push, pushed off the pitch, um, you know, it obviously favors better coaches who get more crowd surfs but however no matter how good you are if you're the best player in the world and you beat the second best player in the world 90 percent of the time which probably isn't possible you will get your own players surfed so this will add to your attrition as well and surfs are so good because they're a guaranteed removal for the drive it doesn't really matter that much that you get the injury roll on them so while it's certainly you know nice for teams with say Ulf Werners and Berserkers and Weirwolves and Witch Elves and all this kind of stuff um, because it adds to your attrition inevitably adds to your attrition 
I don't really like it. Also, when you can have the security gate, which is just so powerful for like reliability of winning, I really don't like that. Uh, referee rest area. This is a dodgy one, obviously. Yeah, so during the inducements phase, both teams receive a bribe at no cost. Obviously, it's good for dwarves with a death roller um, because a death roller is really quite crap for 160 TV. If it gets a bribe half the time, it gets a lot better. But even then, it's it's marginal, to say the least. And uh, I find, even if you want to foul, like, you know, a lot of people recommend this for Kemri and what have you. You don't want them to be able to foul back. Your, your power is fouling with 40k players that you don't really care so much if they get sent off. You don't want to let Chaos be able to foul you back, you know? So I, I, really, I don't rate the referee rest area for any team, really. Even stuff like halflings, you know? They're going to get to foul you back, which really sucks. Astro Granite plus one armor that rolls when a player fit falls while going for it. This used to be really good before they implemented the uh, the grid as an option, but you know because it's the only way to get a grid on the pitch. But really, again, it adds attrition to your team. It doesn't matter that it adds attrition to your opponent's team. I don't think it doesn't matter if you very rarely make go for it. You know. If your Wood Elves are Skaven, you're going to be attempting one turns and be making GFIs. If, you, if you're a slow, bashy team, you're going to make crucial GFIs as well because you're just not fast enough, particularly Dwarves. So I don't really like that on any team. Um, elf Turf. I've, I've considered this. Minus one on AV rolls when a player falls while going for it. It helps your team survive. It reduces attrition in the long run on your team. It doesn't really matter that it reduces attrition on your opponent's team, so what? Um, and again, as I say, Skaven and Wood Elves will, will like to make go for it to score one-turn touchdowns. So the only problem with the with the Elf Turf is the opportunity cost of one of the other upgrades. The Royal Box, absolutely pointless. Doubles and all gains and losses of fan factor. I guess there's some kind of bizarre uses for it where you buy it, concede a bunch of games, and then swap it for a good one to, to drop loads of fan factor or something, but really absolutely awful and pointless. I don't even know why it's in the game. Uh, Squig Sandwich Chaos. This is one that I this is my go to one for elf teams, uh, Skaven, etc. Throw a rock and get the ref kickoff events are cancelled. Both reduce the attrition you take. Get the ref, you know, you don't want your uh, your armor seven guys or your seventy k lineman guys getting fouled. You good positionals. Nobody really wants their best players getting fouled. So where some guys, some teams will appreciate being able to foul more, but you know elves don't really need it or want want to take it. Throw a rock obviously reduces the most the most frustrating kickoff result probably. So yeah, I think I just think that the bash. Teams get more from winning from stopping riot and pitch invasion. But, I mean, I'd, I'd take this on a bash team too. It is really good. Throw rock's really, really super annoying. Even even if you've got fame, you know, even if you mostly have fame, you're still very likely to get screwed by it and get the ref. Yeah, you know, but both both attrition-reducing elements here are. So I do like this. The Nuffle Altar, during the inducements phase, star players cost 50k less. This is actually surprisingly good because often you, your opponents won't realise you've got it. Um, stuff like halflings can use it to get stars for quite cheap. Dwarves can get two star players for 10k each. Goblins can get players star players very cheaply from it. Skaven can get Fezglitch for 50k. It becomes a bargain. Um, again, it's just the opportunity cost of something that, that is going to reduce your attrition overall. But yeah, this is this is actually pretty good. I mean, especially for halflings, you know, making a 700 TV team or whatever, making sure you can get Deep Root and people like that for a lot cheaper is really good. Other niche cases as well to get Griff and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's it's not bad. It's just that it's not the others. <laughs> Magic Dome is what lizard men have been crying out for. The weather always starts as nice and changing weather kickoff event is cancelled. The, the disadvantage of this stadium is that it looks a bit crap, in my opinion, the blue tinge that it gives. Um, but yeah, it's obviously it's handy for Kemri and, and Lizardmen particularly. L Lizardmen hate it, you know. They don't lose Saurus to sweltering heat, and rain makes makes Skinks very unreliable uh, in handling the ball. No natural access to show hands and Agility 3, so yeah, the really good one for Lizards. Um, you could take it for, yeah, Kemri or whatever, but... Again, I, I, I would tend towards the squeak sandwich chaos, stopping throw a rock and get the ref, 
or security gate for writing pitch invasion. So um, there, there you go. <laughs> um, hopefully you got something from the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.